Hi everyone, Erica here from Nitty Gritty Science and I'm bringing you another at home science challenge. Today we are talking about electromagnetic waves, specifically infrared waves. Now infrared waves are going to be longer than your visible light waves, but they're going to be shorter than your radio waves. And a lot of infrared technology is used in remote controls, okay? So here is your challenge today. Using a remote control and your television, I want want to see how far away you can get from your TV and turn it on using your remote. Now you do know I have to point my remote at my television because I'm going to send an infrared wave out from the end of the remote and it's going to be picked up by a sensor on my TV that allows me to turn the TV on. If I cover it up, if I point this away from my TV, the TV is not going to turn on. However, I can go ahead and do that by moving a reflective area around the corner and that's where the challenge is going to come in. If I can see how far away from the TV I can get, whether it's in another room, three rooms down the hallway, even if you have another level of your home, try to see if you can turn the TV on. So what you are going to need is a television, a remote control, and reflective surfaces. So the reflective surfaces, I have like a lot of these mirrors that we use, these old, old makeup mirrors. You can also ask um, if your sister or your mom or your grandma has these compacts right here that have the mirrors on the top. Make sure you ask permission, of course. Um, you might have handheld mirrors around the house or small makeup mirrors like this around the house. You can put those in different places. Um, if you start running out of mirrors, you can also take small strips of aluminum foil, just like this, and have those as your reflective surfaces. Now, there's a couple hints I'm going to give you so you can see how far you can move away from the TV, um, because you can take this all the way up to levels if you can get those infrared waves to bounce off all those reflective surfaces. The first hint you want to do is make sure that your surfaces are flat. So if you are using um, the uh, aluminum foil, try to keep it as smooth as possible and tape it flat to a wall or to a surface so it gets a good reflective area. If you start crumpling it like this, look how many different angles that that infrared wave would be able to bounce off and that would not be helpful for us. We really want to keep the the aluminum foil as smooth as possible. So if you're using aluminum foil, that is gonna be my first hint to make this successful. The second hint that I have for you is don't start at the finish where you think you wanna end up and start working with. Actually start from the television itself and have your remote. Now, just move around one corner or one little go out a doorway and set a mirror up and see if you can go ahead and use the point that mirror towards the TV and use your reflective angle to go ahead and turn on the TV. Once you have moved one mirror away from the TV, now set up a second mirror and move it down the hall maybe a little bit, go down around the corner into the kitchen and start moving backwards from the TV and then see how far away you can get into all the rooms or another level to turn on your TV. This one's going to take a little bit of brain power, critical thinking and patience, but I know you can do it. Make sure you let me know in the comments how far away you got from your TV to turn it on. And if we want to keep doing these activities, make sure you clean up when you are done. You do not want your sister or mama or grandma coming after you for their compacts when they're ready for that. So make sure you put everything back when you're done. Make sure to also thank them for allowing you to borrow that and have fun with this challenge. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.